Okay. So uh, let's do another one of these uh, type of questions. It asks, how many allylic and vanillic hydrogens are found in the following compounds? And uh, we see two uh, compounds written up here. So uh, I like to look for the vanillic ones first because I think they're easier to find, okay? So do you guys remember where a vanillic hydrogen is located? Where is that? Connected to the alkene. Yeah, directly on that alkene or the double bond, okay? So when I look, so that's what we're looking at. So this, this uh, molecule here has that triple bond in there for this particular question to kind of throw you off, you know? So don't get thrown off by it because that's what we're looking at is just the alkene portion, okay? So when I look at this molecule, I only have the one alkene, right? The other thing we call an alkyne, the triple bond, okay? So when I look at that alkene, how many hydrogens do I have directly attached to it? Two, okay? Do you see that? If you can't see it, I would recommend drawing this portion out, or even drawing it in bond line structure, it helps a lot, okay? So since we have two, and specifically they're there and there, okay, that means we have two vanillic hydrogens. Okay, so let's go over to this one and look for the vanillic hydrogens. What did we say? They're directly attached to the double bond. So how many do we have directly attached to the double bond? One, two, and then three. Everybody okay with that? Or should I have let you guess it? We good? Okay. Okay, so the allylic um, hydrogens are attached to the alpha carbon, right? So where is the alpha carbon located with respect to the double bond? One away. Just one away, right? Okay, so remember, again, we're looking only at the double bond, okay? So when we look at the, we'll do this one easy, because it looks a little bit easier. Right? Look at the double bond. There's, well, there's no carbons over here, and there's only one carbon over here, right? So that must be the alpha carbon. So how many hydrogens are attached to that alpha carbon? Just one. Very good. So we say we have one allylic. So here we see, okay, the double bond's here, right? So the alpha carbons are here and here. So let's draw this. Identifiers on there. And all we have to do now is count up the hydrogens that are directly attached to those carbons. And of course, everybody can see um, that there's three, right? Okay, so are there any uh, further questions on this topic? Okay, wonderful. I'll post both of these hopefully soon.